Welcome to Fox 31 Sports and Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Pat Maroney. The 1A football playoffs continue around the state on Friday night and after a home victory last week in Osceola, the Irwin County Indians are back in their home stadium tomorrow night for a round two matchup with Johnson County. Head coach John Lindsay's team scored early and often last week against Tryon, which served as a revenge game for the Indians after losing to the same first round opponent in 2012. Now it's time to concentrate on the quarterfinals. And Irwin County has a difficult team coming to town in the 10-1 Trojans. Lindsay said practices have been as intense as usual, but the game plan changes with the competition. After facing a wing tee offense last Friday, Johnson County will run out a number of five wide sets that take advantage of their speed, so tackling will be key on defense. And on offense, the Indians are going to do what they do, and that's run the football with guys like Antoine Merritt, Ryan Peterson, and others. Like all teams still in the playoffs, Irwin County's practicing over Thanksgiving, but they consider it a good thing to still be alive during this time of the year. Since clinch, we've been one game at a time. I'll be honest with you. We're, uh, you know, we're, we're after that game. It kind of woke us up a little bit, and uh, we just take it one game at a time. We're having fun. I tell the kids every day at the end of practice, enjoy it. These days go by fast, and uh, we're having a lot of fun and enjoying each moment as much as we can. Okay, so we know about Irwin County at home against Johnson County, but there are some other Southwest Georgia teams who are still making a run at a state title. Also in 1A, Seminole County will stay at home on Friday night to play Charlton County. If Seminole and Irwin both come out on top, they'll play each other in, in the next weekend. Clinch County and Marion County are also still alive in 1A. And in 2A, Malcolm Parish and Brooks County are back at home in Quitman against Bowdoin. Now all the way up to 6A, Rush Probes and the Colquitt County Packers will go on the road and try to deal with Tequila while Lowndes is still in the picture, but on the road against an always tough Norcross team. And in the GISA, Valwood is back in the state championship against the Memorial Day 